Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Uh, it is my great pleasure to come back to this beautiful city, Brighton, uh, to make a presentation about Abanomics. At, uh, last year, uh, around this time in July, I think, uh, I made a presentation about Abanomics Part 1, as Professor Pickens said. Uh, since uh, the growth strategy was just published in June, and, but that growth strategy is um, worse, uh, as I, I'm going to explain, uh, was in Part 1. Uh, it is an evolving document, so I'm very much happy to be here to update you about a recent development. And it is very much timely that uh, last week, uh, Prime Minister Abe unveiled the growth strategy part two. So I think uh, this is uh, very much, how can I say, a fresh presentation about what is going on in Japan. And as uh, Professor Stockwin uh, said, you know, the Japanese economy is showing some sign of recovery. And let me first go through key macroeconomic indicators. And you must have become a little bit familiar with the word abenomics. And abenomics is composed of so-called three arrows. That is a flexible fiscal policy and a bold monetary policy and growth strategy boosting private investment. And uh, together with uh, these three arrows, uh, we are aiming at uh, reviving Japanese economy. And actually, abenomics is beginning to bear fruit uh, Japanese economy is showing robust sign of recovery. Uh, real GDP growth has become positive in the most six consecutive quarters. In recent quarters, in particular, uh, private demand is uh, the key driver for the growth. And stock price is also rebounding. Uh, from December 2000, uh, from December 2012 uh, to March 2014, uh, Nikkei index has risen by 50%, a much higher rise uh, compared with other stock index. And this has created enormous capital gain in particular household amounting to 66 trillion Japanese yen, as you can see in the right uh, column. And uh, business sentiment is also becoming bullish. In particular, uh, the business sentiment of SME, uh, small medium enterprises, has become very much positive and has become the highest in six, seven years in recently, and for manufacturers, and the highest in 22 years for non-manufacturing non uh, SMEs. And economic recovery is felt widespread in Japan nowadays, uh, compared with November 2012 uh, on the left side, uh, the economic condition have dramatically improved in every region. Uh, you can see much more red or pink or orange part. And the uh, labor market is also revitalizing. Uh, the ratio of effe uh, effective job offers to application ratio has become the highest in seven years and nine months. Uh, the unemployment rate has dropped to below 4%, the lowest level uh, since October 2008. A wage increase is also becoming uh, more widespread. Uh, the rate of average monthly wage increases and bonuses uh, is the highest level in the past 10 years. So that will create a uh, private demand as well. Then uh, let me turn to the progress of the third arrow, a growth strategy, a structural reform. This illustration uh, was drawn from the recent Economist magazine uh, describing Prime Minister Abe uh, fighting with various vested interest groups, like um, you know the doctors' group or farmers or you know the big business and so on. The among the three arrows, uh, the third arrow, uh, namely a growth strategy or structural reform, is the most important one uh, in order to sustain uh, the growth and also enhance uh, the growth base, a uh, potential growth base for Japan. Uh, in June 2013, last year. Uh, Prime Minister Abe uh, presented Japan revitalization strategy uh, as uh, his own growth strategy. Its overall target is to achieve 2% real GDP growth uh, in the next 10 years. The strategy has four key pillars. The first pillar is promoting uh, private investment uh, through bold regulatory reform and tax incentives. A second 
enhanced utilization of human resources, including women, uh, youth, and elderly. And third, uh, creation of new markets uh, through uh, regulatory reform and innovation. And fourth, integration with global economy uh, through FTA, free trade agreement, and EPA, economic partnership agreement, and national strategic special zones, and promoting inward foreign direct investment. And uh, last week, uh, in June 2014, uh, Prime Minister Abe announced a revised strategy. And the revised strategy uh, presents 10 key reform areas, uh, including those which were not necessarily fully addressed in the previous strategy. The Economics magazine uh, de describes uh, the new strategy as much broader and much bolder as quote, a thousand strong bundle of acupuncture needles rather than a single arrow. And let me uh, move on to uh, each areas um, and particular uh, progress and also new initiatives. And as for the investment promotion, uh, the government conducted tax reduction of about one trillion Japanese yen for capital investment. And together with economic growth and private investment is regaining momentum and has reached to 69 trillion Japanese yen in first quarter of 2014. Uh, this is very much close to the target of the growth strategy, coming back to 70 trillion Japanese yen. So this target has almost been achieved. And uh, with a view to further enhancing investment climate, the Government Pension in, uh, Investment Fund, the world's largest public pension fund of 130 trillion Japanese yen, we play a vital role. It has decided uh, to co-invest in infrastructure, such as power station or railways, in collaboration with DBJ, Deve Deve Development Bank of Japan, and Canadian Pension Fund. Uh, the revised strategy also further aims at reviewing investment portfolio of GPIF, Government Pension Investment Fund, so that it will invest more in stocks rather than uh, government bonds. As for the promotion of venture businesses, uh, the government is providing tax incentives and crowd financing promotion. The number of new uh, businesses is increasing, as you can see in the right column, uh, from 2012 to 2013. The revised strategy will also further promote this trend by establishing a matching mach mechanism uh, between venture businesses and larger firms, and also promoting uh, government procurement uh, from newly established uh, SMEs, startups, or ventures. For uh, creating a more entrepreneur-friendly environment, uh, the Diet Session last year, uh, uh, 2013, uh, adopted uh, the Industrial Competitiveness Enhancement Act. It has introduced a so-called cooperative field test, uh, granting preferential uh, regulation, uh, regulatory flexibility to individual enterprises for their new businesses. And it also aims at re removing so-called gray areas uh, by clarifying applicable regulations to new businesses. Already several examples are emerging, as you can see, uh, in the top two columns. The law is also facilitating industrial renovation at a merger uh, through supporting business restructuring. And one example is establishment of uh, Mitsubishi Hitachi power systems, uh, combining strength of those two giants, that is Mitsubishi Heavy Industry and Hitachi. Um, let me move on to um, innovation and R&D. And actually, this is at a source of Japanese strength and speed up uh, the process from technology development to commercialization. The headquarter function of the Science and Technology uh, Policy Council, headed by Prime Minister, has been significantly enhanced. And cross-ministerial uh, innovation collaboration program has been established to overcome so-called silo mentalities. And programs have also started to conduct high-risk and high return or high impact R&D. Uh, they include low cost biofuel uh, using Super Eugelina and one month charge free mobile phones using advanced uh, mag magnetic memory chips. And programs have also started to conduct uh, high risk, high impact R&D 
said, and uh, the Levi's strategy has decided to develop a five-year uh, plan uh, for robotics renovation, innovation. And uh, I have underlined uh, several photos of various robots uh, working in nursing, uh, production processes, and agriculture. And uh, since his announcement uh, in Davos uh, this January, uh, re reform of the corporate tax has been very much high agenda for Prime Minister Abe uh, for improving Japan Japanese business environment. As a first step, uh, special corporate tax for reconstruction was already abolished one year earlier than planned at the beginning, at the end of 2013 fiscal year, uh, that is the end of March. And after uh, intensive domestic debate, uh, the revised strategy has finally decided that the level of effective corporate tax will be reduced down to 20s uh, in several years. And the first phase uh, reduction will occur in uh, 2015 fiscal year already. Uh, this is a truly remarkable step uh, since high corporate tax has been regarded as one of the major obstacles for foreign business for doing business in Japan. The strategy is also aiming at uh, corporate governance reform uh, for transforming managerial mindset for higher business performance. And to this end, uh, Japanese stewardship code was published in February 2014, and it defines key principles for institutional investors to fulfill their fiduciary responsibilities. And so up to now, 127 institutional investors, including GPIF, uh, Government Pension Investment Fund, have expressed uh, their intention uh, to accept uh, the code. And Companies Act uh, was also amended uh, to promote outside directors. As a result, the share of listed companies with outside directors has risen uh, from 62% uh, in 2013 to 74% in 2014. As a new initiative, uh, the Corporate Governance Code uh, for listed companies will be published uh, by the Tokyo Stock Exchange by mid 2015, uh, just before the shareholders meeting next June. Now, uh, let me look at uh, ini initiatives for ensuring human resources, uh, which is to be the engine for the growth. And the first, full utilization of the female workforce. In Japan, uh, as you can see in the left column, and by the way, Japan is a blue line, uh, you can see the decline of uh, work participation ratio by female uh, between the age to 25 and 44, mainly due to childbirth and childcare. To overcome this problem, the government is now preparing uh, 400,000 additional child care arrangements. The revised strategy at this time has also decided to provide after-school child care services for 300,000 uh, children utilizing uh, unused classrooms. Tax and social uh, security system will also be reviewed to encourage female participation in the labor market. Uh, to increase uh, the number of female executives, uh, listed companies will now be obliged to disclose the number of female executives in their financial reports every year. The strategy is also aiming at more flexible and fluid uh, labor market. The government has already shifted policy focus from mainly, uh, merely maintaining the current jobs to more promoting uh, fluid and uh, dynamic labor market. The revised strategy uh, decided to introduce a new system, so-called white-color exemption, uh, for high-income employees. Uh, this is based on evaluation of the work uh, rather than uh, just on working hours. So coverage and the process for discretionary working system will be also be uh, re revised. And in addition, uh, high <coughs> highly predictable and internationally comparable our uh, labor conflict resolution system will be developed in Japan. And all of them uh, will further uh, make a Japanese labor market dynamic and more flexible. The strategy is also aiming at a full utilization of foreign uh, human resources to increase the number of uh, so-called high-skilled foreign professionals entering Japan. The point-based system was already relaxed. Uh, the government has also adopted 
the urgent measures up to 2020 when the Olympic and Paralympic Games is to be held uh, to enable foreign workers having completed their technical intern training to work in construction sector because in the construction sector there is a serious shortage of workforce uh, in preparation of uh, the Olympic Paralympic Games. It, also it has also decided to launch a new uh, system. Uh, they include acceptance of workers uh, at an foreign uh, overseas subsidiary of Japanese companies and acceptance of foreign workers as home support staff in the national special, special strategic zones, which I'm going to explain in the later. Now, uh, let's look at uh, key sectors uh, which could be drivers for growth. Uh, health sector is one of the highest priority in the strategy uh, since uh, this sector has enormous potential uh, for Japan going into aging society. A major achievement is the amendment of the pharmaceutical affairs law enabling uh, the online sales of non-prescription -prescri drugs. The share of drugs prohibited for online sales has dramatically dropped uh, from over 70% to merely 0.04%. Uh, this will not only uh, widen choice for consumers, but also create new businesses uh, with IT technologies. In addition, a new legal framework uh, was established to allow outsourcing of culturing and processing of sales. Uh, this will boost uh, swift and safe uh, commercialization of various regenerative medicine a revised strategy has also decided to expand a mixed medical treatment system and to shorten assessment period of the most advanced uh, treatment methodologies not covered by public insurance. Uh, this will substantially boost uh, advanced health care and also encourage medical tourism uh, in Japan. Agriculture. Agricultural sector reform is another symbolic area uh, showing gumption of the government uh, to tackle with difficult structural reforms because uh, agricultural sector has been heavily protected for many, many, many years. In this regard, it is very much remarkable that a 40-year-long uh, rice production regulation will be abolished within five years from now to enable each farmer to produce rice at their own discretion. The government has also established a so-called farmland bank uh, to encourage uh, consolidation and aggregation of the farmland uh, by agricultural corporations and large-scale farms. The revised strategy also committed comprehensive reform once in 60 years of agricultural committee, agricultural production committee, corporation, and agricultural cooperatives to create more business environment friendly, uh, business friendly environment for highly motivated and business-oriented farmers. This is truly fundamental reform. And fundamental reform once in 60 years is not only in the agricultural sector, but also in the power sector as well. The diet has already passed relevant bills uh, for expanded use of nationwide great and complete retail sector com uh, competition or liberalization. Market liberalization of the electricity sector will be completed uh, with a legal separation uh, between generation and transmission distribution lines and abolishment of price regulation. The relevant law uh, will be enacted no later than 2020. All of these uh, will encourage new entry uh, from other industries and other regions and create new business opportunities and finally expand options for consumers. Now, uh, let me turn to uh, integration with global economy. Uh, Japan is now actively engaged in mega FTA, free trade agreement negotiations, such as TPP, uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership, and RCEP, Regional Com Comprehensive Economic Partnership, together with ASEAN, Australia, New Zealand, India, and so on. And, uh, of course, EU-Japan, FTA, EPA, and China, Japan, Korea free trade agreement. Uh, through successful completion of these ongoing negotiations, Japan is aiming at uh, raising its FTA coverage from 19% to 70% by 2018. 
the recent progress is substantive agreement with Australia, uh, uh, Australia, Japan, EPA. And this is epoch-making agreement since uh, this is the first uh, EPA focusing on agricultural sector, which has been very much sensitive for many years for Japan. And national strategic special zone is a gateway for regulatory reform and for attracting foreign direct investment. And this idea has been promoted by strong initiative by Prime Minister himself. At the end of March 2014 this year, uh, the six areas, mainly uh, prefectures and areas and cities, uh, were designated as national special strategic zones. And Prime Minister Abe uh, called them as the groundwork for drilling, drilling uh, into bedrock regulation. In Tokyo area, for example, a high story office building can be built uh, in the city center uh, through easing regulation on ratio to total floor space. In Kansai area, a medical innovation hub will be developed by allowing foreign doctors and nurses to practice medical treatment. In Fukuoka city, a business support center has been established to provide contractual advice on employment to foreign firms uh, to establish business in Fukuoka city. The number of foreign visitors uh, to Japan is increasing uh, driven not only by cheap and uh, cheap yen, but also by East Visa regulation and also additional international landing slots at Haneda Airport. And we have already uh, achieved 10 million uh, target in 2013, last year, and are aiming at 20 million target uh, towards 2020. Uh, to this end, uh, the revised strategy has uh, put forward such measures as uh, longer stay for wealthy tourists and doubling number of uh, duty-free shops and further easing of visa requirement, including total elimination of visa requirement for such country as Indonesia. As presented, uh, many things are going on in Japan, but uh, using this opportunity, I'd like to underline Japan's uh, key strengths. First of all, According to the World Economic Forum, uh, which is quite famous for Davos Forum, uh, Japan is classified as a ninth competitive country in the world. In particular, uh, it has uh, the first ranking in so-called business sophistication, underpinned by quantity and quality of local suppliers and uh, broad value chains. Japan has actually strong suppliers on components and man uh, materials, as you can see in the uh, red column. Uh, their global share is over 70%. 70, 70 and typical example is uh, carbon fiber. But uh, there are many other areas where Japan has the highest share, over 70%. And Japan has a fourth ranking in the market size. And each region uh, of Japan has actually uh, the GDP almost equal to entire nation uh, of other country. For example, Kanto area, where Tokyo is located, uh, its GDP is almost equal to the entire GDP of the UK. So uh, Japan is a combination of uh, many countries' GDP. So you can realize how enormous Japanese market size is, even though Japan has the third largest uh, country uh, surpassed by China. As for innovation, uh, Japan's ranking is fifth uh, following Switzerland, Finland, Israel, and Sweden. And uh, in fact, uh, Japanese R&D expenses per GDP is one of the highest among many uh, countries. Uh, Japan has also the highest number of patents and patent application per median population among major, popula uh, major countries. The another strength of Japan is its excellent infrastructure. A typical example is Shinkansen uh, bullet train in Japan. For 50 years uh, since its inauguration, it has absolutely no fatality. Its frequency is 15 trains per hour, and its average delay per trip is within one minute. So this is uh, the accuracy of Japan. <laughs> and by the way, if you get on Shinkansen, if there is a um, you know, delay more than one minute, uh, there is an announcement of apology in the train that uh, we apologize for a slight delay of two minutes or something. <laughs> so. That is Japan. 
And Japan also has a very much high quality labor force. According to the OECD uh, assessment, Japan's adult has the highest average score in information processing in the field of literacy, numeracy, and problem solving with IT. But one drawback of Japan is uh, its competence in English. Uh, Japan's uh, TOEFL English score is uh, almost the same level with Cameroon and much more surpassed by Korea and Chinese friends. So we have to do more uh, to, say, enhance our English competence. But apart from that, uh, as um, you know, the quality of labor, uh, Japanese labor force is very much excellent. And the business environment in Japan is also very much stable and reliable. Um, Japan has the third uh, lowest political and economic risk among 16 Asia Pacific countries. And Japan is, uh, Japan's intellectual rights property uh, protection is the second highest in the world. And Japan is the only country, Asian country, uh, ranked in best 10 of the so-called Global Peace Index. And you may think that Japanese market is closed and difficult to penetrate and for making a success. But on the contrary, uh, there are many successful foreign companies in Japan. Uh, their average profit rate is uh, higher than all Japanese average. So of course, uh, there are knocks uh, for business success in Japan. Uh, all the successful companies in Japan unanimously uh, refer to such elements as, say, a clear understanding of business ecosystem, or clear utilization of a support network, such as you know, UKTI or Jetro by organization, and so on, and finding a good local partner, and quick response, regular presence, and commitment, and so on. And most importantly, patience. Because uh, in Japanese uh, companies, or more in general, Japanese organization, uh, that is based on uh, consensus building or uh, bottom-up decision-making process. So it will take time to make some decision, but once uh, some decision has been you know, the conducted, then uh, that, uh, the Japanese organization or companies will respect that decision. So once you have established successful working relation with Japanese companies or Japanese partners, that relation will be last for a long time. Now, uh, in summary, uh, Japan is full of business opportunities, and we have enormously uh, large and sophisticated markets, and our economy is recovering, and Japan's political and economic risk is extremely low. And with Japan revitalization strategy or growth strategy, uh, new business uh, opportunities are emerging, sectors as health sector or energy sector or ag agricultural sectors. And national special strategic zone is providing a particularly business-friendly environment and corporate tax will be reduced to internationally competitive level, and structural reform is progressing uh, even in traditionally difficult areas, such as labor, agriculture, and health. And we are more and more uh, embracing uh, foreign talents. Uh, Japan will serve as a gateway to Asia Pacific market uh, through successful completion of ongoing FTA negotiations. So, if you consider uh, doing business in Japan, or if your friend is considering do doing business in Japan, uh, please cons uh, consult with uh, Jetro, my organization first. In Japan revitaliz revitalization strategy or new growth strategy, uh, Jetro has been designated as core organization for promoting foreign direct investment into Japan. Uh, J Jetro's International Business Support Center is going to serve as a one-stop shop uh, for establishing business, business base in Japan. And my organization, Jetro, is offering uh, various services, including free of charge business incubation offices and wide range of business market information and consulting services. In addition, uh, Jetro has recently established Invest Japan hotline uh, to help foreign companies going through uh, difficult regulatory procedures in um, this is a photo of Prime Minister Abe uh, inviting foreign companies uh, to invest in Japan on the occasion of Invest Japan Seminar in London on the 1st of May this year. So uh, let me conclude my presentation with his so-called killer phrase, buy my Abenomics and invest in Japan. So thank you very much indeed for your attention.